So the Cairo VR Empathy Hackathon um, was uh, made as an event to try to raise awareness with regards to sustainable development goals, UN sustainable development goals, uh, climate change issues and so on. And uh, it was part of activities of a generous fund by the British Council in, in Cairo. Everybody needs to be aware of climate change. Everybody should be part of the responsibility of mitigating the effects of climate change in the future and preserving our planet. Today we had 18 uh, participants, of which 15 teamed up as five teams, uh, teams of three, and we had five prototypes. The participants were not, most of them were not familiar with uh, the technologies, and they've managed in record time to grasp it, control it, master it, and produce some very impressive output. The number of students applying for the uh, VR competition at the AUC University uh, with the partnership with the Glasgow University was impressive. The number of students applying and the very limited uh, time they were given to uh, produce such great ideas and work in VR and technology. Usually we expect students to develop these applications in a semester, whereas here at AUC they've managed to do that over a very short period of time, only three, three days. So it's really impressed. So one of the teams, for example, they decided to raise empathy around five different emotions. Uh, and I didn't expect that to happen. I do also didn't expect students to have this artistic background, but, but I suppose as, as engineers, some engineers, they have more of an artistic background than others. That is something that was uh, surprising in my case. I thought that uh, students coming from a uh, computer science background, they would be more technical, but in fact, um, a lot of them got in touch with their creative and uh, artistic side.